Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0. And today is day 22. So, yesterday we began looking into the referrals applet, and today I'm going to show you how you can track referrals from both KW agents and agents outside of Keller Williams. So let's dive into the referrals applet. That's number five down here. We'll click on that applet. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll get taken into the referrals dashboard. From there, at the very top of your screen, you're gonna see my referrals. So if you click on this tab, you'll see several different options here on the top right. And those would be pending referrals, meaning referrals that somebody has sent to you and you have not yet accepted. Active referrals that you are working on right now. Funded referrals that are connected to closed opportunities, meaning you've already been paid or you've already paid someone. Uh, lost referrals, so that might be a referral that somebody sent you and you didn't have the chance to actually get to in time based upon their time frame. Expired referrals, meaning, actually I take it back, these are ones that you were not able to actually get done. So maybe they were <clears throat> looking at a, a price point that didn't make sense or something along those lines, right? You just couldn't find them the right house. You couldn't get their house sold. Um, expired are ones that you did not answer in time. And then rejected, um, for example, I've had some referrals sent to me here in the Houston area where they might be on the east side of Houston. It would be an hour and a half drive. Um, and that, that's just, I'm not the best agent to refer that business to. So there could be somebody else that would better serve those clients. So these are all the different tabs and you can click on any one of them and you're gonna see referrals start to pop up on both your sent, ones that I have sent to other agents, and then received, ones that I have received from other agents. So you've got those two options there. Now to track your referrals, you have two options here at the top right hand corner. You've got new referral and track referral. The main difference between these two is new referral is going to be referral to an agent in the Keller Williams ecosphere. However, we know there may be times where you have a previously established relationship or maybe there are no KW agents where you're looking to refer the business. In that case, you can use track referral to send to a referral outside of the KW ecosphere. Now, this won't provide any updates. There's no actual sending emails, etc. It's just merely to track. So if we go into the new referral tab, you can see that you can select an agent and this is really important. It says select an in-network agent. So that means that yesterday when we talked about adding agents to our referral network, they have to be in your network before you can send them a referral. So if I come in here and just choose a random agent, let's pick my buddy Chad, right? And if I put in Chad Andrus, okay, well, Chad is actually in my referral network, so I can choose him. But let's just put in maybe Chad Smith right? And I don't have Chad Smith in my network, so I can't send Chad Smith an actual referral. I would have to go find Chad Smith, connect to him, add him to my referral network, and then I could send him a referral through this request process. So they've got to be in your network to send them a referral from this side. Now I'm going to show you in a later challenge how you can find agents on the map and send them referrals there. Um, but find agent, select the agent, and choose that agent. So in this case, we're gonna send it to Chad. So there's Chad. Now I can tell whether I want to send Chad a buyer referral, seller referral, tenant, or landlord, what the referral fee amount is that I'm requesting, how long does Chad have to answer this referral request before I'm gonna move on to another agent, what's the price point, minimum and maximum, and then a note. And then I would select my client either from my database by going in and finding an actual contact that already exists. So if I put in Daffy, or let's put in Donald, there's Donald, right? So we could choose Donald Duck. And you can see that because I chose Donald's information, first name, last name, address, phone number, and email are all automatically imported into this form. All I would have to do would be put in their desired location. Now, when I send this referral to Chad, because he's already in my referral network, he's somebody that I already trust. And so therefore this contact information would be shared with him and he can choose whether to, to approve or reject this referral, right? So if I click on send, then Chad's gonna get an alert that I've sent him a referral. This is how you track 
referrals that are happening within the Keller Williams system. If I wanted to send or just track, not necessarily send, because I would have to make a phone call or send an email to someone outside of KW, but I can come in here and put in whatever, let's just say Susie Remax, right? And then what type of referral? So is Susie sending me one or am I sending Susie one? So which type of referral is it? And then what's the client like, buyer, seller, tenant, landlord, referral fee, acceptance deadline, all of the same information. This just allows you to track this referral, but again, there aren't any updates that are possible because this agent is not connected to our Keller Williams Command platform, um, and there's no email sent when I send this out. That would only happen with agents inside of the Keller Williams ecosphere. Now, it is important to note that each market center has their own procedures with regards to referral forms being signed. Uh, most market centers are going to request that there be an additional form signed by the broker of the sending or receiving uh, referral. So check with your local market centers to understand what that process looks like. But this is just a really good place to be able to track those referrals. A lot of times I get a referral, you know, I sign off on the documentation, I, and then I forget about it because they're like, oh, you know, uh, Susie sent that a little early. We're still about six months out. And let's be real, sometimes things slip through the cracks. And so this is a great way to make sure nothing slips through the cracks. I'm always making sure that I'm going to get paid on any referrals that I've sent. And I'm always going to make sure that I pay on any referrals that I send out. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. The My Referrals uh, tab inside of the Referrals applet. Tomorrow we're going to start diving into the map and exploring further the functionality there. Look forward to seeing you then.